In this chapter, we consider the types of boundary value problems that arise from the separation of variables technique applied to a given uh, PDE or initial value, or sorry, initial boundary value problem. Uh, and the most general class that has a nice, strong, robust general theory are the Sturm Liouville problems. So, um, so let's take a look. So Sturm Liouville, by the way, just as an aside, this is uh, part of the spectral theorem in infinite dimensions, or sort of an extension of the spectral theorem. And we'll talk more about that in a, a little bit. So a Sturm Liouville operator is an operator of this form right here. So it takes the function y to the derivative of py prime plus qy, where p is some function, so p of x, uh, which needs to be continuously differentiable. So the, the C1 here, this indicates that the first derivative needs to be continuous. Q just needs to be continuous. So it's C0, or just C. A sturm liouville problem uh, is an eigenvalue problem of the following form. We want L of y to be equal to lambda y, um, and this is going to be for functions defined on some interval from, from A to B. And we uh, have some boundary conditions. So at the uh, endpoint A, we want a linear combination of y and its derivative to be equal to 0. And at the endpoint B, we want some linear combination of y and its derivative to be equal to 0. And so here, we require that um, the, the sum of the squares of these two terms is non-zero. And uh, that's just a, a shorthand way for saying that we want um, uh, a1 and, and sorry, alpha 1 and alpha 2 not to be both 0 simultaneously. So it's totally possible for one or the other of them to be 0. So for example, uh, Dirichlet boundary conditions, um, that would be, let's see. So Dirichlet would be the situation when um, alpha 2 and beta 2 are equal to 0. That's fine. Uh, we still have a boundary condition at A and a boundary condition at B. Um, Neumann boundary conditions would be um, if we had uh, alpha 1 and beta 1 both equal to 0, and that's also fine. The more general case that we see here are Robin conditions on either end. Um, but you just want to make sure that they're not both 0, uh, sorry, that, that both alphas are not 0 or both betas are not 0. Uh, because you want to have some kind of a condition at, at each end. So then we say that the, um, the Sturm-Liouville problem uh, is regular if we have both that the, um, the boundary is, uh, sorry, the domain is uh, finite, so a compact interval like this, and that the function p is not zero on this interval. Um, so typically, we, it's chosen so that p is uh, always strictly positive. Uh, a singular problem occurs if we have that um, x is um, an unbounded integral, or that um, p has a 0 somewhere in the domain. So in the case when x is an unbounded interval, then uh, the boundary conditions are understood in terms of limits. And so the reason why we like Sturm-Liouville um, as sort of the basic setup for, for where to study differential equations um, is that they have really nice spectral properties. So we get an infinite spectrum, so that is a, a sequence of eigenvalues, uh, and they increase tending off to infinity. And the corresponding eigenfunctions uh, end up being not only mutually orthogonal, but also total. In other words, they form a complete basis. So uh, if you normalize the, them accordingly, uh, you can get an orthonormal basis of eigenfunctions of your differential operator. And that means that things can be greatly simplified.